What you see inside that dome right now today are pictures from the party. Uh, the number of victims is 401. So it's around third from the whole uh, murdered people in the 7th of October. The thing that happened to me was 6.30, we leave the bathroom and I see a little ro one rocket like coming out and I told him, you said there will not be any rockets here. Like I'm freaking out, I haven't been in Israel for four years. And then the real big missile attack started. So it's hundreds of rockets above your head. It's not something you can count. There was a lot of panic at this moment. One of the police officers, before the terrorists even arrived, just scrammed, whoever has a car, take your car and get out of here. So we decided that instead of going home, we will go to the next shelter that we know. My boyfriend gets a message in his phone and become completely white. And in this moment, he took the other two producers that were there outside the room, and we could hear them scream. And then he says, there are terrorists inside the party area. And we realized that we need to help them somehow. So we start to talk with the production member that are still in the field, that understood that they have to stay there and help the people escape. At this point, I get a video call from one of my best friends. Um, she is running in the field while terrorists are behind her and trying to tell me that she loves me. She was trying to say goodbye. And that's how this conversation ends. So for me, my friend is dead now. And I have to continue sending locations of other people, of other friends of mine, to save them. And I think a lot of people that were in the fields were not understanding how many terrorists were there. But because I had so many different locations, in so many different areas, I understood that this is something that never, ever happened in this country. But I think the hardest day for me was not the 7th of October, it was the 8th. When I started realizing how many of the people that I love are dead.